What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update video. Now, yesterday in the Nintendo Direct, um, we wound up getting, as I'm sure you know, we got some Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon news. Uh, so we're going to be going over the first part of that today, and we'll go over some more of it in another video, or maybe two other videos throughout the next week because um, I think they might finally start giving us some news. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of news just yet, and I think that's okay. I think they've what they've showed us kind of proves that the game is going to be new and there's going to be a whole lot of new stuff to it, and I'm okay with waiting for details, maybe until we just play through the game the first time. But um, today we're going to be talking about the new Pokemon that we saw, some that we already knew about and some that we had absolutely no idea were coming Super hyped to get uh, to get surprises and announcements like this with all of the leaks and things going around. So uh, make sure you let me know what you think of these Pokemon in the comments below. Uh, and let's just go ahead and jump straight in. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Hopefully not too long. Uh, but as you can see on the screen... Uh, oh, before we jump in, we're of course listening to uh, Glitch X City and an absolute banger. So you can check that out in the, uh, in the comments. You can find a link over to that. So as you can see... Uh, we do have Necrozma here. The first part of the trailer was all about Necrozma. Um, talked about the psychic, how a psychic type. It did show the Z move. I think it was the Z move. Or no, it was a signature move, not a Z move. Showed Necrozma's signature move. And then it showed um, the interaction, sort of, between Solgaleo and Lunala um, at their respective uh, altars. And then it shows Necrozma absolutely just like swallow them up. Just he wraps it. You can see here he just kind of wraps around them and then transforms into this. Now we did get the the English names for these, which I think were in Koro Koro, uh, but we did find the uh, we did get the English names. So for um, Solgaleo we have the Dusk Mane Necrozma, and then for Lunala we have Dawn Wings Necrozma. Um, so, kind of long names for a form change. Um, you know, if you think about, like, uh, Kiram White, Kiram Black, like, it was just, you know, they could have said Necrozma Sun, Necrozma Moon. Uh, but they decided to go with Dusk Mane and Dawn Wings, which is kind of strange. Now, I'm curious what their typing is going to be. Uh, actually, I meant to look this up before I started the video. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on their ty on, uh these guys typing uh, so I think Solgaleo is steel rock He's psychic steel oh well that makes this easier hold on hold on I could go never mind so uh, um, since Necrozma is also psychic type I would kind of be surprised uh, I would kind of be surprised if their typing changed uh, I'm sure their stats are just going to change uh, I was kind of thinking that like Solgaleo was Steel Rock for some reason, and that would add on the Psychic, and they could potentially be the first three type mons. But now that makes absolutely no sense after realizing that they're part Psychic. I guess I haven't played these games in so long that I totally forgot that. So it'll be interesting to see what's special with these guys. We did get to see, whoops, we did get to see uh, a little bit of their moves. Uh, it didn't give us any names or anything. Again, I think this is signature moves, not Z moves. Uh, but they looked extremely powerful, and they were beating up on a Mianfu for some reason. Like, how do you decide? Uh, how do you decide what to beat up on? Why? Why is it a Mianfu that you choose of all things? So, um, so that was that. Um, that was those two. I think they're pretty interesting, and we'll see kind of what the storyline is behind them. Let's move straight on. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again. We did get two new Ultra Beasts. The first one being UB Assembly, who is just a big wall. It just reminded me of the episode in the anime where Mr. Mime, uh, in the Indigo anime, where Mr. Mime makes the wall. But this thing is huge. Like, it shows the, uh, uh, just w when it was going through and showing the animations, which obviously I'm not going to play the trailer in this, or Nintendo will be after me. But this thing is absolutely ginormous. Um, I don't know how it's an Ultra Beast. You know, you think about the other Ultra Beasts, and this thing is just literally just a wall, possessed. Uh, but I do think he's pretty cool. And then, of course, we got uh, UB Burst, who... 
looks like a lollipop. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Kind of interesting. But the the bigger thing behind these, and I think the reason that this is so important, is that this are these are brand new Pokemon, Pokemon that we have, or at least brand new something, Ultra Beast, brand new Pokemon, um, in you know yellow, crystal, emerald, platinum, black two, white two. Like, we never got new Pokemon. Like, we had fusions, like I said, Kiram Black, Kiram White, uh, but never just straight out new Pokemon. So, this makes me ask the question, will there be new Alola forms? Will maybe another generation get Alola forms? I doubt it, uh, but will there be more discoveries? Um, I think this kind of opened up the, this kind of opened the door for stuff like that to happen. Uh, and I'm super excited about that. You know, again... A lot of people are saying, well, they didn't give us any news on anything, so um, the, the, this game's probably not going to be that much different. And I just completely disagree, uh, especially with the stuff that they showed us today. Uh, there was another part of the trailer that showed different areas uh, and all kinds of stuff like that. We're going to talk about that in another video. Uh, but I'm super excited for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I feel like I'm running out of ideas. Oh, also, I didn't, I didn't mention when I was talking about these. Uh, Assembly is an Ultra Moon exclusive, whereas Burst is Ultra Sun exclusive, uh, if that's important. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I don't really know what else to talk about uh, in this video as far as new Pokemon goes. Again, we're going to be doing another video about um, about like the rest of the trailer. There was some Lycan Rock information. There were some new areas shown, things like that. We're definitely going to be talking about all that stuff. So let me know what you think about these new Pokemon. Let me know if you prefer UB Assembly or UB uh, Burst in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update video. Until then, have a blessed day.